Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and today we are into AITS Select series and I am super excited to bring you a question on screw gauge which has been repeatedly asked in the comment section after I came up with the vernier calipers question. So as a bonanza, I have chosen a question uh, from the previous AITS, uh, it's an LN test series and uh, it contains both vernier calipers and screw gauge. So it's a combination question in which we are going to look at as you could see at the bottom of the screen if the zero errors are present and uh, how could you attempt this particular question uh, as quickly as possible at the same time without knowing the formula, right? So it's more about the basic concept rather than mugging up a formula, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the question. It's in two pages, so we, we have a lot of diagrams in this question, so we need to concentrate on this question right now. Um, if you want to have it try, so I'll just scan through the two pages for you. You just take a pause or a snapshot and then try to attempt the question. So uh, in the first page, he says, when a piece of wire is held diametrically in a screw gauge, the pitch is equal to one millimeter and number of circular scale divisions is 100 in this uh, screw gauge. The readings, readings are obtained as shown, okay? You can see two readings and you could uh, clearly realize that the first one he's talking about is when the jaws are close to each other and the second one when the object is placed to measure its diameter, okay? So in the first case itself, you have a reading, right? And the second case, you have another reading that you need to note, okay, right? And uh, then, Going to the question second page. Now, if we measure the same with the help of a vernier calipers, the same wire whose MSD is 1 mm and 10 divisions of vernier coincides with 9 divisions of main scale, the usual vernier calipers, having a negative zero error of 0.5 mm. So even this uh, particular calipers is actually having an error. And then you find which of the following figures correctly represent the reading. He has given four figures and he says, if you have to match the reading of the previous pages, uh, screw gauge with the vernier calipers with both of them actually having errors which of the four figures in the options a b c d are going to match with it okay so have a look and try to uh, give it a try after one or two minutes you come back and look at the solution i am going to provide okay i'll be taking up the concept also along with the solution okay so i'll just go back again once just want to pause here and just have a look and again have a pause here and then take down the readings and try to attempt the option. Okay, right. So very nice question. And uh, even in the JE advance in the past, they have asked questions where a combination of vernier calipers and screw gauge was asked. So take it seriously. Um, let's move ahead with the solution now. First, we'll take up the concept. Uh, there are two concepts, obviously. One is for the vernier calipers and one is for the screw gauge. So vernier calipers part, I'm skipping because I've already done a video on this. So uh, the video link of that particular one in the AITS Select series is in the description below. So if you are new to this channel, uh, it is very important video that you need to go through. This The, the specialty of this video was that uh, we went through this from the basic concepts of how to read a vernier calipers. Even when the vernier calipers is not the usual 9 MSD is equal to 10 MVSD type of vernier calipers. So once that is done, we now look at the concept of screw gauge in the same spirit as how we looked at the vernier calipers. Okay, right. So imagine the, uh, the screw gauge actually had an error or not, it doesn't matter. Once you place an object in between the stud and the screw, then in order to move this, you need to turn the circular scale, right? You rotate the circular scale using this ratchet here. And then this entire head will start moving linearly, revealing this pitch scale divisions, okay, right? And whatever the distance this particular object, this part circular scale moves to the right is nothing but the length of the object. So this L should be measured here. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether there is a uh, error or not. It The concept is length of the object is equal to distance moved by the circular scale on the pitch scale. Okay, irrespective of error, we need to just take the difference of the starting and final reads to arrive at the correct length. Okay, so I, I might have marked this for the length L from zero, no need. You just mark it from the first reading that is shown, right? You take the first reading, when the object is not there and when you take the final reading and you take a subtraction, it's a simple piece of geometry that whatever you get as a subtraction should be the length of the object. Okay. So with that spirit, let's move forward to the question. Okay. 
So a lot of things again are written. Uh, I have demarcated the screw gauge calculation and vernier calipers. So since the first screw gauge is there, I'll just move the screen to its this. Just follow my lead. Now, this is the diagram that was given to us. I have drawn a crude diagram and that is all is enough. No need to actually draw it to scale. Okay. So without the object, you could see that a zero was visible in that particular first figure that tells you that there is already an error in this particular uh, screw gauge. Okay. So let's take down the information of the screw gauge. He gave one pitch was given as one MSD was given as one MM and 100 circular scale divisions he said are there. What does it mean? If you turn 100 circular scale divisions, then one pitch is moved. That means each circular scale division should be related to one mm of pitch divided by 100. In future uh, questions, there is no need that one pitch should be one MSD. Okay, these two could be two different numbers. Always remember each CSD is related to a pitch at this particular place. Since in this question, both are given the same, I have written this, okay? And this is nothing but the definition of least count. Here you may not require it, but when someone asks you what is the least count of a vernier uh, screw gauge, you should say it is equal to the pitch divided by number of circular scale divisions. Okay, this is 0 0.01 mm, okay? Now, coming to that, so you, you saw that the, it's already showing a 20 division and zero is already visible. Now think when you have to place an object and the final reading shows up with four divisions visible. Last time one division is visible. Now four divisions are visible and then 50 coincides. Think in this manner. How many, how many pitches did you move? How many pitches did you move? I think it is one, two, three pitches you have already moved. Okay. So which is this and then you actually moved even 30 CSDs. How did I get this 30? Just think like this. Once it is showing 20, you rotate it for one complete revolution. You come back to 20. Okay. And then again, rotate it that that three times you rotate, you come back to 20 and then you don't stop there. You further rotate and then you need to rotate by 30 more divisions to repeat or get that value of 50. So the length of the object, I don't even care how much is the initial thing. That is how I counted is three pitches plus 30 CSD. I know this is like a crude language, but that solves our purpose. I have moved three pitches and 30 CSDs. Three pitches is three mm, 30 CSDs is 30 divided by 100 mm. So the length of the object, including the error correction is 3.3 mm. I think I hope you appreciate this part. He never asked us error. I will not calculate the error. Okay, right. So with that 3.3 mm object now placed on the vernier calipers. Okay, so now let's see how the vernier calipers pans out. Negative error of the vernier calipers was given as 0 0.5 mm. How does it look like without the object? The bottom scale is vernier scale and the top scale is the main scale. So the since the negative zero error is there, right, the zero of the vernier scale without the object would be to the left of that thing. That means it will try to show lesser readings. Okay. So if I zoom into this, what does that 0 0.5 mean? Right. That 0 0.5 actually means that the distance between the two zeros like this would be that 0 0.5 mm. Okay. So with that picture clear to you, let me zoom out. Okay. Right. Now when the object is placed and the object was 3.3 mm, I think this vernier scale zero will slide towards right by 3.3 mm. That's the basic concept. Whatever is the length of the object in both the instruments, that's the distance moved by the scale along that main scale. Okay, so this should be 3.3. That means O has now moved by 3.3. Now, what would be the distance between the two zeros now? Already this was 0 0.5, moves by 3.3. So the new distance would be 2.8. Okay, that's what I did. Distance between two zeros now in the new picture would be 2.8. Okay, so this zero to this zero is 2.8. Since it is 2.8, I can claim that two will be visible on the main scale division because it's two point something. Therefore, it's more than two. Okay, so this should be your 0.8. Okay, now my next job is to see which vernier scale division coincides with which main scale division. Some of you would have mugged up that it is a 9 MSD versus 10 VSD kind of a concept. Therefore, if it is 2.8, 8th vernier scale division should coincide. Let's not believe in that formula mugging. Let's derive it from the basics. Okay. I'm assuming that V with the scale is coinciding with mth scale of the main scale division. I'll now tell you a concept 
of how to get this value of V and M. And this would be useful even if 9 MSD versus 10 VSD is not given and some other strange vernier calipers is given. So look at this and concentrate. So the distance between, we already said uh, these two zeros is 2.8, right? So distance between this zero and this M is equal to this 2.8 plus distance between zero and V. It's simple whatever is the top distance is equal to bottom distance for that i write an equation m here on the top it, all this is in mm okay so m divisions means mmm okay is equal to here 2.8 plus v mms okay right but i can't write v mm because v sds are not in mms right each vsd in this problem because you gave 9 versus 10 would be a 0.9 mm so it's a simple math equation that i have written i know you will argue now we have got two variables one equation but these are integers right and it won't take much time to actually decipher what this integer should be look at this very carefully if this is 2.8 what should be added to it because you have to get rid of this point eight. remember m is an integer so i need a number which has a point 0.2 in it right i need to add a point 0.2 kind of a number to this 2.8 to make this an integer and in nine table math multiplication table what should be this number so that i get a point 0.2 at the end i think that won't take much time nine ones are nine nine twos are 18 nine threes are 27 i think nine eights are is 7.2 so you can clearly decipher that this v up after all this argument should be eight and correspondingly the value of m should be 10 which means you, you end up getting why i'm trying to tell you all this is in general vernier calipers where this nine versus 10 is not given you need to do the problem like this okay and je will definitely test that in the future okay so eight versus 10 is the coincidence let's go back to the options and check which option is matching okay i think we can eliminate actually if you are in the exam you need not do all this right it is a much straightforward question because uh, it is 2.8 it is showing it should be after two some of the options are directly eliminated you could see this is after three and this is i think coinciding with two this is gone okay so this is after three again this is gone i think in that matter answer a should be the only correct answer because this is after two and also eight is matching you could see this arrow means eight is matching with the 10 10 means zero to this is in centimeters so this is 10 mm but we did solve it completely so that if another examiner gives much more closer options, you should actually arrive at the correct concept. Okay. So in whatever way, whether it is by elimination or by pure concept, I think you will all believe that the correct answer in this question should be option A. Okay. I hope you have liked this video and I urge you to also go back to that Vernier calipers video that I already spoke of and also make sure that you go through the playlist of the AITS select series has got some nice questions. I think we have already finished somewhere on more than 10 questions in AITS select series. So please do that. And the playlist of that uh, uh, playlist link is in the description below and other uh, important series running parallel in the channel. If you are new to this channel are Pathfinder solutions, uh, Olympiad workout series where we saw a lot of previous Olympiad questions and also the new challenges to keep the students uh, well intact with the Olympiad preparations, ATS select series and result series where we solve all the nitty gritties and famous doubts of brilliant students. Okay, so these are the things and along with that JE mains and advanced solutions are also being provided uh, uh, weekly. Okay, so please do explore the channel, go to the playlist, enjoy yourself and in case you do so, like share and subscribe to my channel and please do come back and we are going to come up with a better uh, and uh, even more quality videos in the future okay so thank you and goodbye for now